The search for the Pals Fishing Owl is no foreign concept to me. Over the years I've searched everywhere from abandoned army camps and sewerage works in the Caprivi to the back end swamps of the Okavango Delta. I've only ever managed brief glimpses of orange speckled feathers through the canopies, but now having narrowed down the search to certain locations in Mkuzi Game Reserve, I aim to make my encounters a little more personal. First off was in Sumo Pan, the Pals have an affinity for tall forests growing within 300 meters of a water source. We were looking for a large silhouetted figure in the highest branches of the fever trees. But we weren't alone. Above our heads, vervet monkeys combed the treetops. When they're not raiding houses, vervets have an incredible ability to find food in the most unusual places. This troop was tucking into tasty sap from old wounds in the fever trees. For the most part, they picked it out with their fingers and tongue, but the occasional well-placed bite ensured that when they returned, the branch would be covered in a sugary sweet syrup. A rare delicacy out here. It's good seeing the vervets being very relaxed it means something else lurking about here with us. We broke through the edge of the forest and out onto Nsumo Pan, only to face off with brewing storm clouds. The water birds were unaffected and continued to go about their daily business despite the turning weather. The clouds were rolling in and the birding was turning sour. Even the whiskered terns were struggling in the strong winds. It looked like we'd have to call it a day. Time to head back and set up camp. It would be interesting to see how the rain affected the Pels, but for now we were to set up a base camp within the reserve from where we would conduct our owl finding expeditions for the next week. But we were in one of the most famous reserves of northern KwaZulu-Natal. With a bird list of over 400, I'm sure we could find something else to do. Don't forget to subscribe and keep up with the latest adventures. And read about my greatest journey yet in my book Josh's Big Year, Deserts to Jungles. Let the treasure hunt continue.